What's going on everybody? Toby Wan Shinobi here and today we're talking about building the ultimate sniper in Fortnite. The best attachments and kind of just general tips for building the sniper out. So first of all, we have landed in this spot where the Jonesy is. That's actually really hard to see the icon, but there's a diamond like icon. It's like this secret society. See this little one right here? Well, there's one right here near this overpass right here and you can access it through the overpass or through one of these buildings i think it's this red building it has a zip line anyways you go down here and there is a ton of weapons on these racks and there's guaranteed to be snipers on these racks as well and it's usually blue or better so a lot of it is blue just rare but i did get a purple one here now sniper rarity is important there's gonna be better inherent reload time on these weapons it's going to be slightly better it's gonna have better damage for body shots just generally a little bit better so i go for a higher rarity whenever i can but it's not the end of the world to be carrying a blue one around the next thing is you're looking for a couple of perks which we will get to in a second none of these have them so we don't have the perks we need to get the ultimate sniper so we need to go to fencing fields fencing fields is the closest medallion to me and all medallion locations have a boss that drops a medallion and then in that location there is a vault and in that vault are the workbenches you cannot find workbenches any Anywhere else in the game to my knowledge other than the island i take that back you can find them on the island that spawns in at the end of the game but that usually takes a while for it to spawn in so better to just upgrade early all right so let's just talk about some general sniper tips right so sniping in this game is a little bit different the bullet travel speed of the sniper seems to be increased so that the velocity of the bullet is a little faster meaning you don't have to lead your shots as much which can be pretty helpful but it is definitely something to get used to So you can see it like close ranges like this, you can totally just aim right at their head and pull the trigger. You really don't need to lead at all because the bullet speed is so quick uh, that doing that is totally fine. All right, so we kill her, we get the medallion, also get this AR because it's absolutely busted. Definitely the best AR in the game apart from one that you can customize yourself. Another tip for snipers is just like good crosshair placement and letting them walk into the reticle just like that, right? You just line up the reticle and then you pull the trigger once their head falls into it. It's the same thing with kind of like shotguns, how I always say like, you gotta let your opponent fall into your shotgun, into your reticle as you're jumping, let the reticle fall into your enemy. It's the same thing with sniping. You wanna pre-aim, get that reticle in the right place and let the enemy kind of cross it, right? Now, if you're leading the shot and your enemy's moving at a far distance, you definitely have to lead the shot and that's just kind of something you have to feel out with lots of practice. And that is also gonna feel different depending on different scope levels right higher scopes uh are gonna feel like a little different than lower scopes etc etc so it's just something you feel out all right so we're gonna go ahead and break the vault floor here just because that gets all the loot in here as quickly as possible and we are underneath fencing fields so let's build the ultimate sniper real quick i really like the hollow optics sight i like this because it doesn't show sniper glint now if you go to the 2x scope view it will show sniper glint i know if you go 4x it'll show sniper glint 2x i think show sniper glint i'm pretty sure then we're gonna go with a drum mag for five in the magazine absolutely insane then we're definitely going with angled foregrip this is going to reduce the time to ads and then also we're gonna go with suppressor reduced muzzle flash and dampens audio. I just like that. Reduced recoil is nice as well if you're gonna try to shoot back while people are shooting you. But most of the time I'm just gonna be taking shots from cover, peeking out really quick and taking a quick shot. So now we have a super beastly snipe and we're gonna go and put this to use. Shockwaves and bushes are really, really good for sniping as well. So this is when sniping gets a little tricky is when uh, the distance of it with this scope is a little hard. in the foot. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and push up on that. Boom. Oh, there's a team over there. Okay, so I'm just gonna wait for them to become an easy shot. I think that pink one may have seen me. Oh, she jumped. So as you can see there, I just let him kind of come into my scope. I let a little bit. Okay, I 
I'm gonna get some more distance here. That's why I like the 1.3 scope as well. It's because you can use it at close range like that. Oh, this guy's the Oscars crazy frenzy shotgun. Wow, we're stacked. And then when you're playing snipes, you gotta just not get sniped. <laughs> it's like one of the biggest tips I have for you is just don't get sniped when you're sniping. Because a lot of people will stand still. Oh, see these guys would catch me slipping. They just snipe me once. I'm gonna play a bush on this roof. This is the last team. Second to last team. This is the last team fighting, yeah. Okay, now there's just one team left. And at this point, we're grabbing a car. It's a 1v1. So we're gonna let him shoot our car, and then we're just gonna hop out and shoot him. Positioning is important here. Would have liked to end that with a sniper, but I was a little scared, you know? <laughs> I was a little scared. That is the ultimate sniper. My preference for the ultimate sniper. I also like a 4X scope as well, but I do like that 1.3 for those close range, mid range shots. And I hope this was helpful. 6,167 damage, not a bad game. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also consider using code TobyWanShinobi in your Fortnite item shop. And if you want to improve your Fortnite zero build gameplay, check out my must watch playlist on my YouTube channel. I promise you will not regret it. Thank you so much, my friend. Have yourself a great day. Shinobi out.